Because Lord, we want to see you. We want to meet you. And God watches you. God is looking at you. And so when you come to church, forget about what you want. Forget about what you want. Just say, Lord, I am coming to your house. I am going to your house to see you, Lord. And let me tell you, when you have that reason, when, when, you, when inside of you, that's what you go to church for. That's what you go to the house of God for. When you have that reason, I'm telling you, when you come into the realm of glory, all of that is sorted out. It's taken care of. God will answer you. God will heal you. God will bless you. God knows what you want. God knows everything about you. But when you seek the Lord and when you look for him, you will experience the glory. When Mary went to the tomb, she went to look for Jesus. When she went to look for Jesus, listen, nobody else came to the tomb because they thought he's dead. So they thought they cannot get anything from Jesus. She went, she loved Jesus. She loved him with the right heart. You see, when, when you see people that are around you, mm. when it seems as if you don't have anything and they would you, they, 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 they're really for you. And the day when Jesus died, when she went to the tomb, she did not go with a need. She went to bring him, she, she, went, to, she went with spices. She still went with worship. She still went to embalm him. She still went to release something to him. And because she did that, the Bible says that the Lord appeared to her. You want the Lord to appear to you? Don't come because you want something. Come because you want to see him. When you come because you want to see him, you will experience him. He will appear to you. He's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. He appeared to Mary. He appeared to her. Oh, well, he appeared to Mary because you're still on the earth. So explain how, you, how he appeared to Paul then. Because in the days of Paul, didn't the Lord already ascend up to the heaven, to the heavens? How did he appear to Paul? He's the same God, yesterday, today, and forevermore. He's the same God. Come on, some of you need to wake up. Because you think, oh, that was only in the Bible. And then you say, oh, that was only in the Old Testament. He said, I am the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. I, the Lord, change not. I am the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. I, the Lord, change not. He does not change. He wants to meet with you. 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 You must have a vision of the Lord. An encounter, he wants to give it to you. He met Saul on the road to Damascus. He met him. And he said, Saul, it is hard for you to kick against the pricks. You're going to fail, Saul. You're going to get hurt. And Saul, you know, he had an encounter with the Lord. His life was changed. You know what's going to change you? What's going to change you? What's going to change you is an encounter with the living God. Amen. What's going to change you? People can preach to you. They can tell you, don't do this, don't do that. Come to church. But for yourself, for yourself, you need the encounter. <laughs> you need the encounter. You're tired of praying for some people. Just hand them over. I'm handing you over now to God. I'm handing you over. God is going to deal with you. God is going to reveal himself. Let me tell you, that day that you, stand up, Carlo, the day that you have an encounter with God, shut! You will never ever go back. 